Hi, students, college graduates, and others, maybe some parents. This is Deacon John Wilson. I'm the Education Enrichment Director for West Angeles Church, as you probably know. And I have a deep concern about a few calls I get gotten recently, uh, actually one email and two calls. And it happens always right before Christmas when all the other scammers are out. There are these scams about paying off your student loan. Companies will promise they can get you favorable terms on your student loan. They'll promise you that you can uh, pay them a fee and they'll pay off your loans or lower your loans. You can do all that yourself. You can check on your loans and lower your loans. Any company that contacts you and wants you to pay for it is a scam. I have a young lady that got a hold of me this morning early and she wasted $3,120 some dollars and this on this fly by night company that promised to take care of her loans and they have not finished it. I have many others who you who used by the way she got them a year ago and she still is in default on her loans. Um, and I have others that use the services and they did do the job but they charged them $700, $500, $400. Uh, these are all scams. You, there is a federal website as of five years ago that was set up for you to do all these things. And I'm going to go through these right now. And I'm going to really, really want you to take the time. You have a moral and ethical responsibility to pay off your loans. But there's no nothing in the Bible at all that says you have to pay more for it. And there's a way that the government will reward you. And if you register on this site, when they make further legislation, they're gonna, it's gonna apply only to people that have done this before a certain date. You need to register your loan. You need to get the payments as low as you can and start making payments. Um, don't believe all this political stuff about uh, free loans. It has to pass through Congress. I don't wanna go through a lot of politics. I don't think that's gonna happen, you know, lateral loan forgiveness. We do have loan forgiveness under the federal emergency as you see at the top of the site here that I've got for you, I'm showing you the site, it's January 31st now, uh, where you can uh, still pay interest-free. We'll talk about that in a minute. That's at studentloans.gov, or just type in studentaid.gov. It'll go right to this site. And where you wanna go is to manage loans. You wanna click on manage loans. And when you do that, look at all these things that open up, and I'm gonna talk about each one. You want to learn about your loan repayment. You forgot what your payment was. You moved and you're not getting the letters. Who's your servicer? You can go on this part right here. Again, this is manage loans at studentaid.gov. Of course, you'll have to eventually log in. You'll need to retrieve your usernames and passwords there. There's ways to do that when you click log in. Just say you've forgotten it and get it. Okay, let's get that done. Over here on um, underneath... Uh, uh, over here, exit loan counseling. Uh, you need to do your exit loan counseling. I thought schools were telling students to do that, but what if your email changed? What if they never told you? They don't seem to care, but you realize you'll go into default three months, a minimum of 90 days after you leave school if the government doesn't see that you've completed your counseling. Because my Lord, the school has told them you're finished with your loans, so they know about you. You could go into student loan default right away and ruin your credit forever. It would be very difficult to get that off your record. Make a payment. Loan simulator. You can try different scenarios. A consolidation of loans that can be done here. That's right. If you have a loan each year in college, uh, you'll start getting bills that show it in four parts, and you're paying one payment. You think it's consolidated, but it's not. It should show only one payment. And when it's one payment, guess what? you save hundreds and even thousands of dollars actually on that loan, okay? Lower your payments. Maybe you're a candidate for loan reduction, right? Without extending your loan. You can register on this site. So if you make a certain amount of payments on time for five years, you could get forgiveness. Uh, some are 10 years, but there's some that are five years. Uh, if you work for a federal government job, you can get relief for a lot of your loans. Too bad you waited so long. So you're probably going to owe something. Uh, but if you'd done it right away, you'd be okay. Uh, so that's a that's another one on the lower my payments. You can get temporary relief. Right now, it's set for COVID mostly. Uh, they can actually re, re, uh, forgive a huge chunk of your loan. 
right now if you go in there. Quality of loan forgiveness, uh, public service loans, teachers loans. These are all loan forgiveness issues. Uh, the federal exclusion is not here. It's covered on the other side. But Perkins loan, a lot of your Perkins loans, how would you like to get that discharged without doing volunteer work sometimes? Uh, you need to look into this. Again, it's on the studentloan.gov or studentaid.gov website. Not some scammer that comes to you and promises you to save you time and money. Uh, I'm going to cover master's degrees in my next one. I haven't done enough videos for you guys. There's some scams going on. And yes, yeah, scams about master's degrees uh, that I need to talk about. But this is about loans. Uh, the last thing over here is delinquency and default. If you're getting ready to go into default, you're in default, you want to get out of default right away. You can get out of default in a few minutes on the site. Right out of default. They can use, they can give you something to print out and you can send to the creditors. I'm telling you, you need to go to this site. It's, it's being improved all the time by the federal government. Lots under the current administration, by the way, for all of you that have angst about that. Um, so I need you to go there. Please, please, please do not... Uh, you know, go to some uh, scammer or listen to people that are telling you. It's the federal government website at studentaid.gov. Uh, God bless you. I wish you the very best. And I hope that you, this helped you today. Bye-bye now.